You know what's really cool, dude? Kid Rock. Dude. Yeah. Right. Guess what? I'm going to blow a case of fucking Bud Light into the sky. Oh, dude. my God. That fucking was loser. hilarious. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Daddy's feeling <laughs> frisky today. Okay. Every detail about that video is so funny. How he starts away from the camera, yeah. Yeah. turns around the MAGA hat. He's like, oh, didn't see you there. I just have a full-on MP5 machine gun. Grandpa's feeling frisky, which grandpa weird choice of words. Jesus Christ. So let me, uh, why do like right wing people always preface the most stupid fucking thing in the world by saying something like, <clears throat> I did a thing. <laughs> oh my God. They go, they Watch go, Watch me do a thing. <laughs> yeah, but they go, I'm going to be as clear and concise as possible. Like, like they're With having the like the dumbest this, point ever. Yeah, like they have like this mic drop moment that's just so fucking cringe. They, they think, think they're, they're profound. Yeah, they yeah. think their shit is so fucking cool, man. Yeah. Cut to a clip. Young ladies, young ladies, I like them under age. See, some say that's statutory, but I say it's mandatory. Why don't you have a seat right over there? Okay. Every fucking week, new movies get released. How does anyone ever see these? There are too many movies. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies, family. Only hard rock podcast there is. This week on There Are Too Many Movies, we watched Batman 1989. But before we talk about that, we're going to talk about what we've been watching. I'm Chris Collins. I'm Josh the Josh Rodriguez. Oh, guys. All right. I'm Josh the Josh Rodriguez. Wow. All right. Wow. That's enough of that. Wow. Holy shit. That reception. And then you are Alex. I'm Alex Discount. <laughs> Yep, discount YMS Wilson. Yep. <laughs> nice. And it's a special uh, birthday episode today. We are celebrating Josh's birthday. Oh, wow. And that's why thank you, thank you. that's the uproarious laughter. That's why. This sounds like cheeks clapping. Why is it so fast? Yeah, why are you... F- is that... Do you fuck like a rabbit? Dude, is I that- fucked to Arch Spire. I go... <laughs> <laughs> you blast beat that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so uh, what have you guys been... Wa- Wait, no. Five bucks a month on Patreon will get you access to bonus episodes, uh, feet. fucking feet content, yep. tributes, uh, all ninety-nine episodes from the beginning of time of this episode. You really this don't want to hear those, but they're there. They're there, and uh, there's there back, they are. There's back shots. Yep. There's behind the scenes content there's and access to the motherfucking Discord. Man. Access to the motherfucking Discord. Shout out to all the blood relatives. Shout out to the Discord. If you want to talk to us all day, every motherfucking day, if yep. you want to share your watch lists and recommendations and yep and what you're eating you want to play framed with us <clears throat> yep it's my favorite goddamn thing in the world <clears throat> hanging out with all the blood rallies so hey we're not gonna make a framed channel it stays in general fuck off why would we make a framed channel who the fuck said that uh, a few people somebody had eat shit man thank you what's wrong with the general channel nothing yeah what else is gonna go in general you know what I'm saying? Fucking the general insurance. My ass. Well, the best car insurance rates online. Go to the general and save some time. We do need a business ideas channel, I think. Maybe, yeah. No, nah, I think save them for the show. No. Why drop them on the Discord? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want other people's business ideas. Oh, fair. But you know what you could <clears throat> do with your business idea? You could call in. We now have a Too Many Movies hotline. Look at it there. 214-699-9076. Hotline that's, bling, that's if you 214-699-9076. will. 214-699-9076. First of all, you said it wrong. It's 214-699-9076. 699? 699. It's 214-699-9076. Exactly. I, I like Alex's way. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You, I think you should watch 22 Jump Street, Alex. But if you want to... Mm, uh, I don't really care for the people that are in that movie. If you want to leave us your business ideas, thoughts, prayers, uh, you're welcome to do that on the Too Many Movies hotline. Yep. And we'll uh, share them on the podcast. Call in with your business ideas, call in with your show ideas, call in with your movie recommendations, or if you just want to give Alex like a JOI or something. Please. Um, you know, he, I can't be stimulated anymore. Yep. I, do it. I turn on these videos and they're like you're going to come in 500 seconds. And I'm like, I doubt it. 499. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, uh, that's the hotline bling. So, you know, hit it up, give it a ring. And uh, uh, you want to kick us off, birthday boy? What have you been watching? Oh, shit. Okay. All right. One more, one more cheer for me for, for being uh, born. All right. right, Fine. That was pretty short. That was, yeah. 
Well, well it didn't sound that exciting. Like three people were yeah. so about that. The, the crazy fuck, thing is, I don't matter that much. I mean, yeah, that's. I mean, we're gonna. We're say all. It. We're I don't all want to be rude. Yeah. Uh, Waco American Apocalypse. So Ooh. this is a three-part series that exists on Netflix and Netflix alone. It is about the uh, fucking, you know, what's his name? Fucking David Koresh. David Koresh, who uh, the Davidians, right? Branch Davidians. The Branch Davidians who had like a little, little just a little minor cult. A small, just a cool just happening. Guy shit. Yeah. Tiny little cult uh, down in Waco, Texas, which is not far from us, only about an hour and a half. Yeah. And uh, he was armed to the fucking gills, as they say, dude. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Kid Rock. Yeah, right. he, yeah, he's a real Kid Rock type. He's yeah. a modern day Davidian for sure. Kid yeah. Rock is. Uh, anyway, so uh, the police went to go uh, check out this little arms factory that he had, and were like, "Hey, what the fuck is up with all this? Are these registered?" Um, but the mailman was tipped off. He saw a grenade fall out of a package. He wasn't no. tipped off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so they the. There was a news crew that got a, got wind of the story that they were going to be raided by police, and one of the news fucking people, idiot, got lost on his way to the house and asked the mailman, hey, where is that one church? Like, the FBI is going to raid it, and we need to cover that story. The mailman just happened to be a part of the church. Dumbass. So then they had a head start that the SWAT team was coming in to fucking <clears throat> raid their shit. And resulted in uh, over 60 deaths, dude. Pretty hard rock moment, if I do say so myself. It is uh, pretty gnarly. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, the documentary is fucking excellent. Best Netflix crime documentary I've ever fucking seen. It's three episodes and it gets to the goddamn point, dude. There's no fucking around. The first episode, you get in the shit in the first five minutes of the documentary. Yeah. There's no build up like... David Koresh, when he was he was very young when he was born, and this yeah. is what happened. You I, know, like, I feel like in other like Netflix docu series, they would have spent the whole first episode on like, who is this David Koresh yeah, guy? And exactly. then at the very end, they'd be like, he's a bad guy. Literally, none of that. <clears throat> it gets to the goddamn business yeah. up front. Three episodes, and just one of the best documentaries I've seen. They have the fucking. Dude, the goddamn news crew that was on this story, the one that, you know, kind of fucked up the whole thing, they were on this, like, the flies lot. on shit, man. Yeah. Like, they covered the fucking <clears throat> shit out of this shootout and had uh, the actual footage from the actual raid in this documentary, and it's, it's fucking great, man. Highly recommend. If you're into some PTSD, go check out... Waco. If you're into cults and, and American yeah. Apocalypse, it's fucking just a tight documentary, dude. I liked the sniper and oh. and the uh, <laughs> one of the guys that was raiding the building that he did the interviews. That yeah. dude looks harder than shit. Harder than shit. Yeah, lots of hard hard motherfuckers in this yeah. one. Nice. They had to call in the FBI because the local SWAT team was like, "This is they're a fucking army." It's yeah, insane. Like yeah, th- 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 over <clears throat> over two million rounds. Yeah, it was of ammunition. There was a firefight. Definitely check that out. It's really great. Um, I also watched from dusk till dawn. Ooh, because this, of feet. No, because of vampires. Oh. There is that one feet shot that's pretty great. It's there's, pretty cool. There's actually a few feet shots in in this movie between what? Juliet Lewis and uh, Selma Hayek. It helps but, that it's Selma Hayek. But for sure. this is not a Quentin Tarantino <clears throat> joint. No, Robert Rodriguez. Did joint. you guys know this? Yeah. But he stars in it. A lot of people don't fucking know that, and it pisses me off. Yeah. It's not a Quentin Tarantino joint. Of course, I knew that because of course we, we knew that because we I'm, are cinephile. Yeah. Yeah, which is like a pedophile, but with movies instead of children. Exactly, but basically, well said. But thank you. You know, there was a point during production where where Quentin was like, "Hey, Robert, maybe in this scene, could I like suck a, sh- a whiskey shot off of Selma Hayek's foot?" He's like, "That's a and, no." And he's yeah. like, and he's "What like, if this was the awakening? <clears throat> like the moment no. he realized it?" Yeah. Nah, those wires cross around puberty. Nah. Yeah. No, he's been into feet since fucking day one. Yeah. yeah. It's like he. It's like his mom was giving birth standing up. And then he That's fell. what the reservoir dogs were, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a foot. What? What? You call them dogs? Your feet. Oh, uh, he's got right, that dog right. in him. He got he's the got the reservoir re- dog in him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, anyways, yeah. Uh, from, from the start, Robert Rodriguez joint, uh, starring George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, who is excellent in this fucking movie. He's actually really good. Yeah. His performance is great. When he's not directing himself, he's actually really good. Yeah. 
It's true. His performance in Django Unchained. Terrible. Big yikes. Horrible. Big it was yikes. One of the worst things I've ever seen. You be damn blacky. We're not bandits. Do you he, think he's even great in Pulp Fiction? That is like definitely lowered that movie on the tier list for me because yeah, of just his, get a, an actor. Just yeah, get an actor dead. to do that. That accent was horrendous. Hey, are you a, are you the Django? Yeah. Get over here, black. You, like, you, come on, man. It was real rough to watch. That that's a rough scene. Do you uh, think on the set of From Dusk Till Dawn, Quentin Tarantino was like, "What's your inward policy in this movie?" <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I, like, I got some script notes for yeah. you. But he's actually really fucking good in that movie. Yeah. Uh, Michael Parks, his Fuck cameo yeah. is great. Juliette Lewis, Harvey Keitel, mm-hmm. Selma Hayek. <clears throat> it's excellent and it holds the fuck up. Uh, oh, also Cheech Marine is his name. Marin. That's how I've Marin? always heard it pronounced. There you go. You're probably right. Uh, he's fucking excellent. And he plays three different characters in this movie. <laughs> Shouts to him, man. I, lo- I love that movie. Uh, and then I also went... I smoked two Mel Brooks joints this week. I know, right? Me too. You did? I watched History of the World Part 2. Did you? Nice. No. Okay. I watched Robin Hood Men in Tights. Masterpiece. A nice. fucking masterpiece. Yeah. One of the greatest comedies of all fucking time. Yeah. Still to this day holds up. Also, Dracula Dead and Loving It. Also a masterpiece. Also a motherfucking masterpiece. Leslie Nielsen is a goddamn legend of comedy, and I miss him every fucking day. Seriously, he's you cannot fuck with him. He's possibly the funniest person that's ever lived. Yeah, that just, string just, of him going on to like interview shows with a fart machine. Oh my god! You can't let the audience know for one second that you're trying to be funny. Not for one second. I, although I will do almost anything I can for a laugh. <laughs> the perfect straight man comedian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If that makes sense. Like yeah. He plays yeah. it straight. He plays it so straight, but he is so goddamn funny yeah. in everything that he does. Especially when he's like running in place. That's like my favorite <laughs> yeah. shit yeah. that he does. <laughs> he's like that was one of his like philosophies. He's like you have to play it straight. Yeah, like, and like let the like the 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 joke is that you're dead serious. Yeah, like you yeah. gotta play it like you're in a Shakespeare play or something. Like yeah. it is fucking real. Yeah, like, the, that fart machine bit. Oh my is, god, yeah. so like, good. I imagine that like. Uh, with inside baseball, like knowing how those junkets are, how those press interviews go. Mm-hmm. He's like, and fuck him. He's yeah. just like, I'm going to fuck with this guy. <laughs> just That's have the fun. Like greatest selfish, thing yeah. ever. Just selfishly have fun. Yeah. I think it's fucking awesome. He's a fucking legend. Him plus Mel Brooks. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Match made in heaven. Yeah. yeah. And then also back to Robin Hood Men in Tights, Dave Chappelle. Bef- yeah. Five years before Half Baked, he has sent Mel Brooks essentially discovered him and put him in this goddamn movie. Yeah, and he's fucking brilliant, dude. He is hilarious in it. You know, they're making a history of the world something new, part one? two. Yeah, like a new one. It's gonna be on Hulu. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mel Brooks, fucking just genius. He's actually he has an EGOT. Oh, wow, I didn't even realize. Oh, what EGOT, EGOT. Emmy, not... Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Oh, tight. He fucked all of those guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> He That's fucked awesome. Emmy. Uh, yeah, he's a fucking legend. And uh, shouts to that. That's my watch list. What is your favorite Mel Brooks movie? <sighs> Shit. Dracula Dead and Loving It. It's got to be. It's a good call. Because it's like, it's dark. Like, that opening sequence used to scare the shit out of me when mm-hmm. I was a kid. But I loved every second of it. And then you got tits and... Of course. Vampire women. It's great. Yeah. yeah. And wanna... then Leslie Nielsen being hilarious. Yeah. Dude, when I was... Uh, when I would, like, watch Blazing Saddles when I, like, went to bed, like, every night... There's one character where she like her purpose in the movie is just to be hot as shit. But I would like it would literally keep me up at night. I'd just be like, <laughs> like she's like a 1970s Christina Hendricks. And whenever um, Mel Brooks plays a moil in oh Robin Hood Men in Tights, God. he's like, yeah. you put your thing here. Yeah. And you the t- it's like a, it's a tiny fucking uh, guillotine. Yeah. Oh my God, so fucking funny, <clears throat> hilarious. Anyway, shouts to that. That's my watch list. Nice. Well done, Alex. You want to go ahead? Sure. Uh, I'll follow that up with History of the World Part 2. Watched all eight episodes on Hulu. It is episodic. Oh, it's already out? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, I didn't know it was episodic, and uh, at first I was like, I don't know about that. It works, because it's basically like... The stars are crazy, right? It's stacked. It's it's so stacked. But I will say Ike Barinholtz and uh, Nick... Kroll. Kroll. They play like 10 characters each, Mm. and it's, it's great. Um... There, on the credits, you can see like twenty writers, which oh, shit. is different from other Mel Brooks yeah. things, and you can tell that it's different from previous Mel Brooks things. But it's still really great. The premises of all the sketches are so fucking funny. It's if you like Mel Brooks, you'll love it. Show some Mel Brooks, man. Yeah, 
And that's on Hulu? <clears throat> it is on Hulu. Nice. Um, what is your favorite Mel Brooks? Did, did you answer? Robin Hood, probably. Mm. Robin Hood, Midnight. Nice. Just, just for the... Blazing Saddles. Yeah. Just the bridge scene. Spaceballs, too. I first oh, watched that with shit. you. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. I mean, they're all just... Funny. They're all so fucking good. Yeah, they yeah. all come in the too. desert. We ain't found shit. Um, next up, Succession Season 4 has begun. Oh, yes, shit. It has. <clears throat> Have you been watching? No. Yeah. I'm saying Absolutely. It. It's more succession, and if you like the previous stuff, you'll be nutting your fucking dick off. Who are you uh, rooting for? Honestly, Shoot, baby. At this point, Logan. Wow. Damn. Okay. I gotta. I think that they have awakened the final boss, Logan, right. <laughs> in season four. Yeah. And now he's playing like he's now the Earth Serpent, dude. He's now he's he's, he's Jormungandr. Gander. Like he's full Thanos. Like, yeah. He's just like. Okay. I mean, like, without, I don't want to spoil anything, but, like, you, he's tapping into his fucking businessman shit. Let's yeah. fucking go. Yeah. I think he's, like, <clears throat> he's he's also getting lonely, too. I don't want to spoil anything, but, True. I mean, all his kids have turned on him. Oh, so yeah. He, now he's just, like, he's, like, befriending his bodyguard. Like, red flag. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, I don't know. He's got nothing to lose, it seems like. He's just gonna, like... I think he he'll torch his whole company before he gives it up to his children. So I think you are right. Like he'll go full nuclear before he yeah yeah. But whatever. It's she, she really success. fucked it up. I feel like she was the one to what to like, re- to really win it all. Oh, I mean, she still might. You never know. It, know. That's the thing is like they, to her dude. Anything can great happen, actress. and she's yeah, great. she's a great actress. Yep. Like I I have never once predicted that show correctly no. you know what i mean yeah no no, no. it's so well especially written. after season was it after season two i was like okay kendall's about to turn it on he's about to fucking do his thing yeah, yeah. He's, he's about to go off and then season three goes the way it goes it's like fuck i wasn't expecting that yeah, it just yeah. didn't go yeah yeah the way that i thought it would yep so check out succession if you haven't it's hbo max and that's it's obvious so fucking good yeah more like suck session yeah because it's Cause sucking you sucked it's off. sucked yeah. by drama yeah it sucked in a good way yeah we yeah, suck yeah. drama we suck drama yeah tnt right. or usa yep. hbo Whichever. okay same HBO. thing they put the o in hbo yeah oh, you know what I'm saying? with succession home box oh, <laughs> oh this. <laughs> anyways all right blue is the warmest color hell yes let's fucking <clears throat> get it dude this is a watch list right here boy thanks it's fine um, just fine it's look it is the horniest movie i have <laughs> probably ever seen that's not a porno yeah Fair. It, without with the exception of nymphomaniac which features an actual coming in a girl's mouth and i was like okay yeah uh it's pretty neat though it and is also pretty neato. and also brown bunny brown bunny which movies. which is also a movie that has that yeah. brown bunny it's really great. It's, it's really, really great. Really great. Thanks, Bianca. Buffalo sixty six. By the way, the other Vincent Gallo movie. Yeah. Apparently, he blamed Christina Ritchie, like, f- like in her weight for the what? for not being successful when it came out. I don't know. It's just something I heard. Maybe it's because you're a psychopath and you sell yourself as a gigolo on your website. Yeah. Fucking weirdo. He's a, he's crazy. I mean, have you seen Buffalo sixty six? No. More like Vincent Gigolo. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. Nice. Because he's he does that. Nice one, man. <laughs> really great so yeah uh so anyways blue is the warmest color um honestly i turned it off about halfway through what the, f- the fuck, fuck ever man. dude Look, i Why? got i got to the one of the scenes that everyone knows that movie for and uh, and you were like i'm all set that honestly that makes sense it, it's it's the story itself is he's fine. like they're not you drawn didn't, you didn't finish it right I'm watching it tantrically. I'm teasing myself. You're edging yourself? Yes. Okay. But uh, I will say the acting, phenomenal. So you have plans to finish it? No. Well, then you're not edging yourself. You're indefinitely edging yourself. Yeah. You're not going to finish it? No. You're so fucking wrong. That's a great movie. And you turned it off because of a gratuitous sex scene, I'm guessing? No, I turned it off because I just didn't like it. All right. Uh, Man doesn't like love. I don't get it. It's one of the best fucking movies I've ever seen. Horniness fucking aside, movies. horniness aside, it's a great movie. Like, exactly. Like I, that's I the, mean, that's the main point. It's the, a great fucking movie. This you could argue in addition to that. Yeah, you could argue this sex scene is gratuitous, but you could also argue that it's beautiful and passionate. No, yeah, it, yeah, and yeah, they had to fake orgasms for like eight hours straight on set that day, and that's like awkward, but. They did a good job. Pretty good job. It yeah. looks like they have Fooled real me. passion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like they had some real passion. Yeah, but also messy buns. Oh, Very messy yeah. buns. Shout out to messy buns. Yeah, that's a great movie. And sleeping with your fucking mouth open. Oh yeah. 
I, I like how it's the way they portray her, just like like her like lust just for like life. Everything in a way. Like gluttonous. Like, just like she eats, <laughs> she eats so much. She she talks about how she eats a lot and then passes out, mouth open, drooling, and then just the way the their relationship is and i don't know i i, I it's love, love. Movie. it's love though yeah yeah i mean it's just like the the over indulgence of love yeah can we go to spoiler talk for patreon let's do it all right see you on patreon if you want to hear spoilers for blue is the warmest color Be we're back all right all right next up one hour photo with robin williams Ooh, Ooh. dude Ooh. look out like your list Thanks. developing photos i'm and, really fucking creepy dude that's look perfect Ooh. Wah. watch out that's Robin Williams. That's really good. That's exactly. Oh, it's not he bad. Says, no, he says that. He says that. Oh, yeah, 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 Ooh, yeah. Look at this family. Ooh. Very weird. Ooh, look out. That's really good. It's not bad. I think you need. It's really good. I think you need fucking <clears throat> bear arms to. Oh, oh yeah, true. I need to be wearing a full bear suit, yeah. Yeah. covered in hair. I'm getting there. I'm you trying are. to grow out my arm hair. You are are you really? You're like yeah. half the bear Jew. I've been put. Thank you. Yeah. The, arguably, the Jew being the half that I've arguably no, we have very the, similar arm hair. No, arguably, you're, you're the bear Jew, but it's spelled B A R E instead of B A R. Yeah, because <laughs> you don't have as much hair. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. all right, there it is. I do have some hair though. You're the hair Jew. I have, yes, like a single hair. <laughs> yeah, I've got one baby hair on the <laughs> yeah. top of my head. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, you fucked up my Jew. hair, and it's my one hair. Yeah, <gasps> shout out to man. Out of place. All right, one hour photo. Fucking this is let's, a great this is a great movie. It really is, man. This is my first uh like when this came out, my first like thought of Robin Williams doing anything other than some of the greatest comedies ever, obviously. Of course. Yeah. But like I didn't even consider him as like a dramatic actor. Right. It, it um it's uh much like Jumanji. It's like he's mm, really good. The prequel. The prequel to Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, and we've addressed that. Yeah, directed by Marty Scorsese. Yep. <laughs> All of our wrong opinions, apparently. <laughs> Put them all in one, just yeah. bundle it up. Um, for some reason, so I watched this when it came out, and I barely, barely remembered it, so I rewatched it. And for some reason, do you care if I spoiler this or anything? I th- yeah, it's it's like twenty years old. Yeah. You're fine. Um, for some reason, I misremembered this as he brutally murdered the <laughs> man that he was after in this movie. And the nope. whole time, I was like, when does he? I You're, think I confused it with like that scene in Head of State with Chris Rock for some reason, where the president's head is like decapitated. <laughs> I totally forgot about I that. Just, I don't know. I thought why. you were thinking about the other hidden camera movie mm. that was on Netflix for a while. Like whenever Netflix first started doing like streaming movies, uh-huh. they had one of those that was similar to One Hour Photo, <clears throat> but the guy was like just stalking them and then he ends up killing them. Uh, maybe I don't know. For some reason, I had this memory in my head of Robin Williams like covered in blood with a knife, and I was like, "Where'd that come from?" <laughs> Weird. Eh, happens. Happens to all happens to the best of us. So right. it does, so that didn't happen. No, he gets to Well the, don't spoil it. You don't have to like break it all down, but yeah. what he, what'd you think of it? The great uh probably it's for sure cinema, probably four three. Um uh-huh. it feels very distinctly early two thousands, and I think it's like the like the lighting they use. It feels like you're watching Saw or something. Uh okay. Fluorescent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be a digital movie too. That might, might be that might Yeah, it definitely has that feel to it. Does it like like the Finch handy thing? cam. Mm, that D V cam maybe yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. vibe. Yeah. Not D V um, but yeah, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Bill Lumberg is in the movies as boss. Didn't realize ever until right now. Uh, yeah, watch it. Watch one hour photo. It's a great. Movie. Where did you watch it? Uh, Prime, I think. Had to okay. rent it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, solid. Yeah. It's a solid thriller. Good shit. Harley Knower. Nice. And then lastly, Murder Mystery Two with Adam Sandler. Nice. It's fine. Yeah. It, it's sure. exactly what you think it is, and it's not as good as Murder Mystery One, which was already just fine. Um, it's an Adam Sandler movie, and watch tell you it. what, it's probably better than Knives Out. Fuck Knives Out. <laughs> Have you seen Knives Out? Yeah. Fuck Knives better? Out, dude. Uh, Have you seen Glass Onion also? I've seen both. And? Fuck Ryan Johnson. I mean, sucks. they're... Hey, man, he made Looper. It's He's great. overrated as shit. They're Looper's fine. overrated as shit. I disagree. I just met her. I haven't seen it since it came out. Is that the one where they teleport? Or with the time travel with Jake... <laughs> Jill, not Jake Gyllenhaal. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Joseph Levitt. Gordon-Levitt. Yeah, yeah. That Why does Andrew Joseph Gordon-Levitt Levitt look like a cat <clears throat> from the movie Cats in Looper? Yeah, the makeup's not cool. It's a bit odd. It's a little weird. They're, they're like, like, we made him look just like Bruce Willis. And you're like, <laughs> fucking no, you didn't. It looks like a fucking Siamese cat, <laughs> dude. Yeah, he, do, he does look like the... Yeah. 
it it works in some shots. It's like a little uncanny valley, but then there's m- the most of the time you're just like, this looks odd. He looks like Lord Beerus from Dragon Ball Super. It would it would be less distracting if they didn't do anything to his face. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like just let the viewer accept that that is a younger yeah Bruce Willis. Yeah, I agree. That's I think that's the main part that I don't like about Looper. It distracts the fuck out of me. I love it conceptually for time travel though. <sighs> conceptually, yes, it's it's good. Yeah, but I think Ryan Johnson is overrated as shit. All right, a fair point. Last Jedi fucking eats donkey shit. I will agree with you on that. There, the battle scene in that one room, that shit goes so fucking hard. But other than yeah. that, that the battle scene, what what sucks. what room? Like the throne room, I think. Oh, okay. It's actually really bad. The choreography. <laughs> no, it's like I disagree. No, like the acting is great, but the choreography is like like the fight choreography. For shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Really, it that really. Well. I just remember like the fucking vibes of Go it. Go back and look at it. It looks cool. Right. But choreography choreography is really bad. Get that's, Ray Park again. That's the one where uh, what's her face is frozen in space, yep, right? Leia. Yeah, that shit was whack. That She's, shit. Yeah, I, she I was, literally flies through space. Yeah, I laughed audibly. Yeah, I was yeah. in the theater. Like, why the fuck? This is a major motion picture. Yeah, this mainline is Star, Wars. Star Wars film. Yeah, the what are you doing? Biggest film ever of all fucking time. Yeah. And, and the, you got her flying through space she, like a fucking princess. And she dude. was like frozen too, and it's supposed to be yeah. like this. It was supposed to be like this. Oh shit! Moment. You're like like a, oh, she, she's okay because the force. Yeah, and it was hilarious. Yeah, because it was. It looked awful. First of all, the shot just looked bad. But also, just what are you doing? She was like frozen in space, and then she just like starts flying and using the force to get back. I don't know. It was just like it's just what bad. is happening here. Bad. Yeah. Bad. So murder mystery two is fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better than knives out two. I mean, no, honestly. Mm. False. It's it's in it the is. bottom tier of Adam Sandler movies, I will say. Yeah. It's still an enjoyable, fine, fun time, and if you like Adam Sandler, you will like it. In the bottom tier, so like Spanglish? Spanglish, Jack and Jill. Hey, man. Oh, shit, Al Pacino, you're right. He is in that movie. It's my Dunkachino. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on Netflix? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's all I got. Nice. <clears throat> Before we do my watch list, do you want to do your presents, or do you want to? Oh do- yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh presents for me! Oh, you didn't need. We should have done it before the watch list. Yeah. All but right. Let's we, do it. We fucked around. <clears throat> um. Yeah. You want to kick us off, Alex? There you go. This is always good for the audio list. Am I doing all? Of them? Which one do I do? Any order doesn't Just, matter. Yeah. Let's fly through them. All righty. You asked for it. We don't want another thirty-minute segment like my birthday, which oh, yeah, just, weird. Yeah, weird how Chris, the editor Collins, makes his birthday fucking. Like, I cut that shit down. So God it was damn, so long. boring. Because you guys had to get me nineteen presents. Oh, big night VHS. Let's fucking get it, baby. Every single fucking time you post in Gimme Dad on Discord, I'm like, I hope he doesn't buy this shit. <laughs> like <laughs> and the fact that you found this, holy shit, where'd you find that? It was on eBay for like two dollars. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck? Yeah. How the fuck did you do that, dude? He actually made it. (laughs) This is Steven Jobs. Yeah, this is one of your favorite movies. This is one of my favorite movies. It's a really fucking great movie. It's with Aaron Sorkin. I'm glad you gave this to me because I think I lost my Blu-ray copy. And he left the price tag on it because that's how much he cares about you. And that's not the one you gave me for Christmas. Right. It's not the one I gave him for Christmas. Oh, yeah. All righty. Still going, still going. And there, for the visual listeners, it's all wrapped in Pokemon paper. Yeah, because that's Josh's favorite thing. He likes animated oh. things. Ooh. Yeah, dude. It is Quentin Tarantino's cinema speculation, dude. Nice. Yeah. It's just a thousand feet photos inside oh, of there. Wish. Fuck yeah. No, he talks about Dirty Harry. He talks about lots of different films. Dirty Harry, is that the name of uh, sucking a whiskey shot off of Selma Hayek's foot? I wish. That's the name. Chris is very obsessed with the scene from from Dust Till Dawn. I love that scene so much. It's a pretty cool scene. Super cool. And then one more book. Wasn't there a Bond girl named Harry Pussy or something? What? Is is, is this in like the Sean Connery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Pussy Galore, yeah. Yeah. It's in the Sean Connery area for sure. (laughs) Harry Pussy. Come over here. (laughs) Come over here. Harry Pussy. Harry Pussy. Right, Harry Pushy. Oliver Stone chasing the light. Holy shit, man. Yar. That's fucking cool. Nice. Uh, Here's the thing. You buy so many films. I don't know what the fuck to get you for <laughs> films. So, you so. This is fucking great, dude. Books about film. Yeah. Guess nice. what I'm reading on my fucking plane tomorrow, dude. I'm oh, going to yeah. go on a plane. I'm going overseas. I'm going across the pond. Oh, I'm going to come back with a tea addiction. You're going to come back like Madonna. <laughs> You're going to come back like Madonna, like sporting an accent for some reason. Oh, God. Thank you so much. I like the Pokemon paper, too. Thanks. Pokemon. 
Nice. Not, not Pokemon. It's, it's solid, Pokemon. Solid presents. Just one? Just a single one present? Hmm. Uh, you know. This is a double. This it's is a, a double. It's, it's a like double. a brick of a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, a dude. Two VHSs. Oh, two VHSs, one, oh! one being powder and Fuck the other yeah. being a time to kill, which is one of my Let's favorite go. Sam Jackson performances. Thank you very much, also, dude. Also, Powder is one of your favorite yeah, movies. Yeah. This ever. is a great movie if you have really, really light skin and you've been made fun of your entire we life. We need representation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If you ever had the disprivilege of having really yeah. white skin. It's also a documentary about Josh's penis because his penis is powder white. Yep. Dude. Oh, shit. Sorry. And it has like a little Chris, wig on it too, like yeah, the, yeah. like the court, like the old time like English it has courts. A gavel. They have to like wear the white wig, so that's I, penis. my penis is is powdered. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's a documentary about your penis. <laughs> Those are your pubes. Is you have like a wig for pubes? <laughs> the, the white, the white wig. Yeah. yeah, curled. Another gift for you. Oh shit! Uh, five. Just has one. Shut the fuck okay. up. Okay, I'm not a mind bet reader. You, bet, oh, bet you feel like a fool. Is I gotta just, say, I like Alex's wrapping paper better. Thank you. Is it just three gifts? Because I gave him four, mm. so that's one more than yours. I, I guess we'll see. If I recall I guess we'll correctly. See. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> so because you have probably collected every VHS oh, and Blu-ray shit. in the world, I figured I'd start your HD DVD collection with Batman. With Begins. Batman Begins, which unfortunately the trilogy. Co- Cuts off there because yeah. HD DVD <laughs> died after this. <laughs> so with you the first one, you won't be able to complete this trilogy, not to my knowledge. I wonder if I can play this anywhere. You can't. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. I was like, I'm gonna see what happens, and it's just like the PS5 just went, "What the fuck?" Yeah, and then spits it. It's like, didn't we kill this? And it spit it back out because yeah. it's awesome. a Sony PlayStation. It actually melts into ash. I actually fucking love having this. This is great. Yeah. With a red case. Oh, shit. One more, dude. Yet another. Oh, so just the equal amount to me, that not more. <laughs> yeah, just the equal amount, it would seem, yeah. You're equally good. Another gift for you. Oh, my goodness. It's another copy. Let's go. Of Batman. It's a little smaller than a VHS, though, isn't is it? Is this a Betamax? Dude? It's a Betamax copy <laughs> Holy of Batman shit. 1989. I fucking love That's crazy. this, dude. So I figured I I'd kick off. I fucking love this. I figured I'd kick off your collection. Wow. In two other mediums once you've tapped out the others. That's great. I love Isn't it. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I don't think I've seen one of those since I was literally four years old. Yeah. I've, I've never, never held it. I've never seen yeah. one of those I've never before. held the Betamax. This is fucking awesome, dude. Isn't that weird looking? I love everything about this. Thank I you like so this, much. I like the size. Yeah. Chris, kinda, you're like such a great friend. Thanks, dude. man. Yeah. And I also have one more gift, so it's Fuck! <laughs> so it's one more, and you could argue I'm the better friend. It's crazy because I may have one more right now. No, don't. you don't. You pop it out of your ass. That'd be a good place to keep it. Though. Yeah. All right, the coup de gras, the crew de grass. Yep. Where do I open it? Just uh, punch it by the white part. By the white part. Uh, that's the top. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is like always fun for the visual listeners. I know, right? Uh. Oh, fuck you, man. Wow. It's Interstellar, oh, dude. Oh, The VHS, VHS. copy of Let's fucking go. Interstellar, dude. It's a custom-made Etsy edition. Wow, dude. Interstellar. Look at that spine, man. Oh, I want to get that spine. tattooed on my fucking body so yeah. badly. Did you pop this in yours and see if it actually plays? I did not try it. I was scared. I didn't want to ruin anything. Like, what dude. if it ate it or something? Yeah. Like, I was like, the tape's like... <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's sick. I'm literally traveling to go watch this movie. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna see. I'm it over getting there? on a plane. Yeah, that's the reason we're going is to go watch this movie on uh, in IMAX on Chris Nolan's theater. Hell yeah, dude! That's awesome. Well, holy that, shit, that man. completes the birthday extravaganza for. Josh. I just want you to know that I already have these two. Well, I knew you so already you can... had powder, but I, I figured you'd want another another copy, copy of powder. Oh, okay, powder. so I'm just yeah. keeping powders. A time to kill. I didn't. You I was keep like that. All right. The time to kill is motherfucking now. Shout out to Corp Grinder. Yeah. I guess Thank you so much. I don't appreciate that gift. Could you set this fine. over there? Could you yeah. set all this? Sure, man. Thanks, buddy. Wow. Lovely gifts, guys. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. You gave it an anime wow. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Let me. Wow. Nice. Which little, which let's, let's little add, anime girl is saying that? We should add the Betamax to the collection here. Yeah, do it. Let's go. Fucking do it, dude. Fucking do it. <laughs> Tee hee hee. All right. 
Thanks, man. Thank you, everybody. Happy birth, dude. Yeah. Happy birth. Josh Much is appreciated. 41 years old. That's true. Today, so That's a true fact. I look pretty good for my age. Mm. I'll try and wow. go through my watch list <laughs> super quick. John Wick Chapter 4. Ooh. This is an amazing... It's probably one of the best in, in the whole series. Uh, maybe just behind the first one. I've heard nothing it's but great really, things. Really, it's phenomenal. There's multiple scenes that you're just like scraping your jaw off the floor. One in particular, the God's Eye scene from top down. And I, you've got to like, it's worth going to see it just for that. See it. I didn't see it in IMAX. I didn't know that was an option because I'm big dumb, but you should go <laughs> see it in IMAX. That top down scene. It's like this Gaspar Noah fucking inspired by Hotline Miami type of scene that it's phenomenal. One. It's one of the best wonders I've ever fucking seen. Shit. Uh, I was literally just in like laughing in amazement during that scene. Yeah. Check out John Wick chapter four. It's a fucking banger. Summer fun top down convertible fun time. <laughs> it's Hardly know her. So good. Um, the other movie I watched, Luther, The Fallen Son on Netflix. Did you watch the other Luthers? Yeah, I, I had watched okay. the series before, like, and I liked it. It's like Sherlock, but with Idris Elba, kind of. Yeah. Um, this movie was really mids, man. I've heard mm. that. It's like, uh, it's got Andy... Got circus? Circus. Andy Circus and Idris Elba, and it's just like, it was disappointing considering like the Luther series is actually really solid. Um, so that's... Not cinema, not four three. Won't even recommend it. Damn. Sorry, it's uh, mids as fuck. Uh, I watched In the Mood for Love. Finally, mm, uh, let's fucking go, dude. Here's the thing. Uh -oh. Um, this is my second one car Y movie. I watched Fallen Angels first, and now this. While I appreciate them, uh, they're they're fine. Like In the Mood for Love, you guys hyped it up hard. Uh, I think I think that was the issue. It's like a solid, much, much like how you guys hyped up Blue is the warmest color. How some people are wrong about things. Well, and Chris that's is fine. wrong about right. This he's wrong about blue is the warmest color and no, this. No, movie. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wrong about in the mood for love. Mm. And yeah, you're yeah, wrong yeah, yeah. About blue is the warmest color. Hmm. Interesting. In the mood for love is fine. It was good. I had nothing I would rewatch or even want to own. Wow, man. Yeah. And so, and then um, I, I don't think I'm gonna even try like chunking express. Or really? Anything. I'm just like I like one car Y, but I don't like. I'm not. Just like, wasn't. Oh your my vibe. gosh. Yeah. yeah, it was it was okay. You respect it, but it's not anything you're like, fuck yeah, I need to see the next one. Didn't understand why it's like so high regarded. It's, wow, it's it seems like something tension. you would love. Like, yeah, but like they the unrequited love, man. Like I feel like that's the that ending is to you. so fucking good. Fuck yeah, yeah. Cinematography, the feel, the texture of the film. I I don't know, man. I it, it certainly looks good. I just it didn't hit as much as like other failed love movies hit for me. Hmm. Set and setting possible but i mean i i don't know i was i waited for nighttime i ah uh, damn okay i tried to be in the mood night. for in the mood for love Oy. and it's still missed for me damn not necessarily More like in the mood for mid damn yeah in the mid for love in the exactly mid for love. yeah that's better <laughs> well said thanks um I came up with that joke all on my own no help at all dude nice good job dude thanks dude. funny will she know funny will she know is funny today Fuck. I watched the most Netflix documentary ever made. It's called oh. Money Shot, the Pornhub story. Yeah. Uh, which I saw this too. Which I saw that and I was like, what's that about? And you're, you're like, I've seen and porn. Then, and then series in it. You're like, okay, why? No, I was like, who's that? Yeah, who is oh, that? Yeah, who is she? Because like, I don't watch that because I respect people. I was like, people. Women. who is that and what's all this about? What's all this then? You know? <laughs> What's this then? What's all this then? You know, uh, it's like the most non-documentary ever made. It has no point of view the whole time. Nope. No it, POV it, in a porn <laughs> doc. <Yeah. laughs> it starts off really strong, right? Yeah, kind of. And then totally falls off. Like I was like, at the end of it, I was like, what the fuck did I get baited into watching? I kind dude? of agree with what? How do you fuck up the ending to a porno <laughs> documentary? Call yeah. money shot. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it was just so, I agree with like, there's a few performers in the, in the, documentary that say basically like they kind of came in defense of Pornhub because people always talk about the, the documentary tried to like paint that there's like human trafficking and sex trafficking and child porn and blah blah, and blah 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 <laughs> and <laughs> and that exists <laughs> while that exists that it also exists on every other website in the world right and so it's like I, I mean I maybe probably like I assume yeah you know they do their best to combat it but then like it also had like 
no point of view in general. Like the movie yeah. flip flops between like supporting performers in Pornhub and then and then supporting and shutting the, it down. Yeah. And then it was like this controversy where it was like it was just overinflated controversy. I think. Yep. Where it was like there might have been some cases that are very unfortunate. Yeah. But it's like like the whole girls do porn website. That entire website. That is definitely bad. I yeah. don't know what's, what's it's that? it's a site where like close to every single model they had on their site was sexually were, trafficked. Yeah. They were essentially tricked into doing <clears throat> the video. Jesus Christ. Like, oh, we're not going to upload this. And they're like, oh, okay. Well, you know, it, it was just all bad. All bad. And they were like very popular. Yeah. Like, so that sounds like it would justify a documentary where sure. this, yeah. this that seems, 100%. This one, no. Like this, you said, very hyped, yeah. hyped up, inflated controversy. Inflated, yeah. And like to me, it's it was Pornhub going, or sorry, it was Netflix going, well, who's our biggest streaming competitor? Pornhub. Porn so I Look guess how bad they are. Yeah. So let's we can't upload porn to our website. So let's just make the most baity ass non documentary we can. It's like the best thing they can do. Yeah. Like it's their it's their bread and butter. Is these so they baited you? Hmm. Yeah, baited. I did Were get you baited. Teased? I got I got baited to the edge, dude. Damn. Dang. It was rough, dude. Yeah, instructional jerk off instructions. Yep. Right. I still nutted though. <laughs> no, it's a it's a mids ass thing. Skip it. It's yeah, fucking it's really lame. Yeah, I like Siri though. I like seeing her on <clears> screen. She's a pretty cool. Person. She's a cool lady. Not that I know who. she I don't is. know what she does professionally, but like I just yeah, like yeah. her. She's like the she's the voice of Siri, right? The AI yeah. assistant on yes. my phone, right? Yes. Right. Super cool and good. Anyways, uh, last she's thing. really pretty too. Yeah. Yeah, you could argue that. You could, could argue. argue. Um, I wouldn't. The last thing I watched was The Witches of <clears throat> Eastwick. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is it from With the 90s? Jack Nicholson. Sorry. Jack Nicholson. He's the devil. Yeah. And he moves <laughs> into town, meets some girls, and has a polyamorous relationship. Yeah. It's Cher. It's basically <laughs> a documentary about Jack Nicholson. <laughs> we all went to Poopies on the Strip. We all hung out in a coffee shop called Poopies up on the Strip. I fucking love Jack. Jack's, yeah, he's, yeah. It was like watching him in a Jack. He's I, just quite quintessentially himself. The the best thing about him is that he would hate me. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Like no matter what you say, like he's like, I I know all the people I need to. You don't have to Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> Yeah. He said something uh in the Shining documentary where he's like, As a celebrity, you meet about as many people in a day as most people meet in their lifetime or something like like in a year or something. He's like, in yeah. a year, I meet as many people as average people meet in their lifetime. And that's always stuck with me is like, that's like his philosophy yeah. of like where he's just like, I'm famous. He's like, you another know? one of you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then it just shows him being like really nice and cordial to people on set. And like, mm. oh, how's it going? How are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Because I imagine how special it is for every single one of those people. And he understands how special it is for everybody to meet him. And yeah, he's one of the greatest tolerance. of all time. I'm Jack. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. it's just a thing. Yeah. But anyways. He knows we, his worth for sure. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Witches of Eastwick was uh, uh, solid. It's funny. It's, it's so, Yeah, it's, it's a solid it's fun It's campy time. as fuck. I love the I love the um the sequences with like the very big giant set pieces that they have. Yeah. I yeah. love that shit. Yeah. It's just a fun time. Yep. Um so that will lead us starring Jack Nicholson. That will lead us into this week's episode wow. movie. Let's motherfucking get it, dude. Should we get into it? Yeah. Yeah, get into it. Batman 1989, your childhood. Yeah, it's time to ruin my motherfucking childhood with uh, Batman 1989. This feels like something that had to happen based on what we know about you. <laughs> yeah, um, so it, there's a lot of consideration. Uh, we can go through uh, some of the films that I was considering for... Um, I don't have them, never mind. I mean, I was <laughs> I was right. thinking Bad Boys 2. That, that's, that was a childhood movie that Great I movie. watched it all the fucking time <clears> on repeat. <throat> Michael Bay. Um, dude, his pre-hysteria... Prehysteria. That's the one with the tiny dinosaurs that you're. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that, but uh, it just kind of made sense to do Batman '89 because of Michael Keaton returning as Batman this year in the Flash movie, dude. Mm -hmm. Every movie's just opened up the multiverse so we can go. Let's just do whatever we want now. Let's just bring him back. And honestly, dude, I'm fucking here for it, man. That like, but I admittedly, I know it's not cinema, but they got me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think by definition, it's going to be cinema. 
it's got Michael Keaton. It's not, it may not be four three. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not going to be a good movie. I don't think it's going to be a very good movie. But you're going to get. But I'm multiple so Batmans. hard for it. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and he's in Michael Keaton's. V, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's what, ice cream. It's just. <clears throat> Yeah, sugar for you know? right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is like thirty-four years after his hearing his... that theme, seeing the bat, seeing yeah. any Anton first design. Mm-hmm. I'm just fucking there. Yeah, for Yeah, the it. Batmobile was in the trailer. Yeah, man. I haven't yeah. watched it. And, and you're the, like, well, there goes my money. I know the the Batwing is in there. Like, yeah. get the fuck out of here, man. Shit. Yeah. Michael Keaton makes his little cameo in the trailer. He yeah. do be looking stiff though. He's getting. I mean. He's always been stiff in the Batman costume. That's true. Uh, Look yeah, at this fucking good. movie. It moves like shit. Yeah. Yeah. There are shots that are purposefully like minimal movement for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The guy couldn't fucking hear anything in this costume. <laughs> yeah. He's the, literally dead. The rubber was so thick that he could not <laughs> yeah. hear anything. And then his, his bat ears are like fucking 10 feet tall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like fucking like, action. He's just. Yeah. Standing, standing, you know what? Standing in, in, in the bat suit. Just like imagine the silhouette just not moving. And I. Then, Action. Yeah, and he's just a <laughs> just shady silhouette. <laughs> and what's funny is like you grow up, I mean, at least I grow up with this thinking like I want nothing more than to live in that costume. Yeah. Right. When in fact it is the most uncomfortable thing imaginable. Yeah. You're like, just imagine sweaty. having to take a shit in that costume. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just perched up on the top of Gotham. <laughs> just like, oh no. <laughs> I, oh, fuck. oh, fucking right. shit. But he's still doing the deep voice to himself like, I got a shit. <laughs> Oh fuck! I got a shit so bad. It's like how Spider Man drinks coffee like upside down or whatever while he's hanging. It's like, don't you have to? What are you worried about? Like shitting down your costume and onto your own yeah. face? You know what I mean? It's not. It's not just gonna shit because he's hanging upside down. No, but he's got a shit because he's drinking coffee and he's he's been wearing the costume for yeah, so many hours. So where's so the coffee you, gonna be? You know what I mean? It's gonna live up 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 here and then. No, it goes down. I know about fucking the human body. Ask me anything about the human body. I'll answer it perfectly. I got nothing. Where is your asshole located? Um, Show me in great detail. Oh, fuck. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Batman shitting on the rooftop. Yeah. 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 Just just how hard that costume must have been just to move. I mean, obviously, he cannot move in that fucking thing. Mm-hmm. It's no. fucking hilarious to yeah, watch now. Yeah. I just like imagine on set how funny it is. When, like we see the only the cool moments, but like how funny is it? Like just in general, when they say cut and then you're just there in that suit. <laughs> so it's <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to get up crafty. Like, yeah. like in the Tim Burton commentary, he's Can talking about family? how uh, how Michael Keaton in the bats. So it's when they're on top of the terrace on in the Axis Chemicals plant. So it's like he's about to throw, or Jack Nicholson's about to fall off of the thing. Mm-hmm. So anyways, they're, they're between takes, and they're both just staring at each other face to face. And between takes, they just start laughing at each other. <laughs> they're like, look at you, look at me. He's like, I'm fucking shooting a fake gun at you, yeah. and you're dressed like this. Yeah. So they're both just fucking laughing at each other. And I, <clears throat> I automatically go back to like the killing joke. Yes. It's like that fucking parallel right there because that's this, fucking great. Yeah. A lot of this is is based on that. I mean in, in a way. Um the ultimate Joker story. Mhm. Like you look ridiculous. You look fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like you you look you look ridiculous. You look like Joker. I can't fucking hear a word you're saying. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> but you're smiling like that, so I said you look ridiculous. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm ja- I'm the Joker, baby. I'm the ha, Joker. Ha ha. <laughs> ha, ha. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I beat a woman to brain damage in 1996 and got away with it. Hey, it's Jack. I'm Jack he's Nicholson. Jack. He brings the chili to the game and he spills it. I've got a daughter I don't acknowledge. What actor doesn't? Let's be real. You right. want to come on my boat? I got a bunch of sandwiches. <laughs> don't mind the cigarette butts. I brought some, <laughs> I brought some chili to the Lakers game. <laughs> <laughs> Just step over the cigarette butts. It's fine. Yes, we use her mouth as the ashtray. <laughs> I was naked in my home for seven months straight. <laughs> you heard that story? I had Batman oh. 1989 on loop <laughs> and my home theater system, Dolby Digital. The Have chromas story, were though? perfect. No, does he, did he just stay naked in he his home for seven? He just stayed na- naked in his home for like seven straight months. That's mixed, like nothing but a robe. No, just Not naked. even a robe. I, I don't know. 
just erect for seven months straight, <laughs> just housing fucking hoagies. He, he, he gets un uh, unhard blowjobs. I feel like yeah. yeah, just soft, just like just keep going, just just, <laughs> just got keep it. going, just I, keep going. Ba- I don't even want to come necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to feel. Uh, I just mind. like the power aspect. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was really hard to get in this movie made, guys. What? Ten fucking years they spent trying to make this movie. Well, oh, thank shit. God it didn't come out in 79. Well, okay, so after the success of the Richard Donner Superman, the very first, they're like, all right, well, we need to do more fucking superhero characters on fucking screen. Look at this <laughs> DC's shit. DC's like, we're going to be on top forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so then Michael Olsen, or, yeah, Olsen, and John Peters... Uh, option the rights for the Batman film. And they were like, all right, we want to make... I mean, it went through a lot of different phases. It was a very serious movie that they wanted to do. They wanted to get as far away from Batman 66 as they could. The Adam right, West, right. <clears throat> Batman kid. and Robin, comedy, fucking fun, silly, goofy time. Yeah. It was a dark movie, and then it turned into like lots of different versions. It was a comedy at one point with uh, Bill Murray and Eddie Murphy starring as Batman and Robin. Oh, fuck. Really? They were attached at one point to... Wow. To be Batman and Robin. I'd like to see Chevy Chase and Eddie Murphy. I feel like that dynamic would be <laughs> great yep. for a Batman movie. That'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, but thankfully, they got Sam Ham, who is the screenwriter. What? Perfect name. He went ham on this, right? Sam Ham went ham on this. He did on Batman. Uh, but his original screenplay uh, included Robin. It did, yeah. Mm. Tim, Tim Burton was like, you know what? Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good choice. Great choice. I just, I was watching the storyboard sequence that's in the special features when you guys got here. Bullshit. Right? <clears throat> yeah. It's like, mm, yeah, like, it. totally unnecessary. They, they like, he's chasing Joker through Gotham City and like on horseback, by the way, which would have been hilarious. Yeah. To see. Well, canon. Canon, but on screen, wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, that'd be hilarious. It would be funny. In that costume? Yeah. Just stiff as fuck. Like, yeah, that would be can, fucking. Can awful. you really? I can't hear shit. Yeah. Can you really? Say axe, say cut. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you? What can you say is canon when it comes to Batman? Because based just purely off, he has the a giant penny. Of, no, I mean like the sheer amount of runs that have been. You know, of course, I mean? of course, you can go to like the fucking. Uh, oh shit! I forgot his name. Grant Morrison. No, 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 no. That's the one I hear about the most. I liked Batman Beyond. That was my. That shit, shit went fucking hard. That shit was hard. Excellent. Batman the Animated Series is the quintessential, though. It's 4-3 as shit. Yeah. I am the knight. R.I.P. Ah, fuck it. Uh, R.I.P. the voice actor. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's hard to be like, this is canon. That is not. I mean, Batman is a weird character. It's gone through a lot of different iterations. Right, but because of that, like, I see something on screen and I just accept it. But you know? this is coming coming right after Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. Okay. This is, that's 86. This is 89. They're trying to capitalize on like, oh, okay, let's take Batman seriously yeah and their first <clears throat> iteration is this which is the darkest superhero movie up until that time dude the production design is masterful on this oh, movie this is like one of my favorite gotham cities yeah there is because they built everything dude you can tell this is this is on a this is on stage like this is a fucking set piece this is pinewood studios mm-hmm. where they film fucking star wars and shit mm. they built the fucking city from the ground up it looks dude. fucking amazing shouts to motherfucking anton first which is Reason number one why this movie fucking works as cinema, dude. Yeah. I think my childhood is safe. I think this is a great movie. Yeah. I mean, biased as shit. Yeah. I think it works because of Anton First and because of Danny Elfman. Let's fucking go. This is one of the best soundtracks ever. Ever of all fucking time. Danny Elfman did Spider-Man and Batman, the quintessential music for both, both fucking... I'm, come on, dude. Are yeah, you fucking kidding me? Top three composers for me. Beetlejuice is one of the best scores of all fucking time. Nightmare Before Christmas, The Nightmare Simpsons. Before Christmas, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you cannot fuck with him. Without those two, if it's not d- designed by mm. Anton first, if it's not designed or if it's not uh, the scored. music scored by uh, Danny Elfman, I don't think this movie stands a fucking chance. No. And what also legitimizes this movie is Jack Nicholson. He's the best part of the acting aspect of this movie. Yeah. They, he's so He's electric. the reason this movie is legit yeah, as yeah. A, a film, not just like it's a superhero movie with fuck, you know, it's it's not I think this is on a different level than like a Marvel film. 
Again, I'm super fucking biased. Yeah, I mean, nostalgia carries a lot of my love for this movie. Of course, of course. <clears throat> but I think this elevates it past just being a comic book movie into yeah. being like one of those films that we discuss, like being pop cultural, pop culturally relevant yeah. for all time because of Jack Nicholson's performance. Yeah. Well, they, he's a very serious actor. Yeah. yeah. Like, and well, known. But he ha- he's had some just straight up silly as shit roles. But, sure, but... So Tim Burton was talking about like whenever they were like in the process of, of writing this and they're like putting this together, first and foremost, they were like, oh, we need Jack Nicholson as, as the Joker. There is no other option. Mm-hmm. He is the one and he's almost too perfect for yeah. this. He's really, he nails it. Yeah. He, well, like before they even started talking to him, they're like, Jack Nicholson would be almost too perfect as the Joker. We have to reach out to him. He turns them down. They're like, fuck. Well, let's get Robin Williams. Robin Williams signs on to do the goddamn movie. Ooh, Joker. Gonna be weird. <laughs> Gonna be real weird. Ha ha. I'm the Joker, baby. Ha. And, and then That's Jack. Perfect. It's not bad. It's perfect. Then Jack is like, <clears throat> all right, I'll do it. But you give me, uh, you give me the fucking, fuck, I'm fucking top wrong. billing. You give me top billing and you give me a cut of the, uh, the earnings. Yeah. You got that. Bag. Yeah. That's the move, man. You want to know how big his bag was? Um, I know. Unfortunately, but you Shit. can guess. Uh, eighty million. Sixty million. Ooh. In nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, that's that's like hundred forty million today. <laughs> that's yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you know your inflation. <laughs> well, I it's, watch inflation videos all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's one hundred forty three million in twenty twenty two. Jesus, dude. fucking bag, man. Because he fucking knew, and he, even in the documentary, he's talking about like, I knew how big this is gonna be. I, I knew did. how. You know I how many. Ho- knew. You know how many sandwiches I can buy with one hundred forty-three <laughs> million dollars. No more cheese sandwiches, Stanley. <laughs> Which that's bullshit, by the way. Yeah, that's not real. But he's like, we did hit Shelly though. <laughs> <laughs> we did abuse the fuck out of Shelly Duvall though. Anyways. Yeah, uh, Robin Williams is almost, uh, almost, almost a Joker. But I, didn't he? Uh, he he was so hurt by that uh, that he was used as bait that he didn't do another Warner Brothers film until they <laughs> apologized to him. Exactly, he it's refused crazy. to work with them until uh, they apologized Damn. to him. Yeah, which the Warner Brother reached out to him and was like the Warner Brother. Yeah, the yeah. Warner Bros. Yeah, much oh, like yeah. the Bang Bros. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm. just like that. You know, when you think about the bros of Hollywood, you got the Warner Bros. The Weinsteins. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't think about no. They're they, they made two good movies. brothers that were yeah, they, making they did, movies for they a long time. I talk about Regardless of one of them being a complete piece <clears throat> of shit. I mean, Both of them. They made movies. It's a fact. Yeah, we don't need to talk about I, But I guess you could. But, but we need to talk about the Bang Bros. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus. I guess you could it call. It was a bit. I was joking. I was actually you, offended by that. Well, going off what you said, you could call Jack Nicholson the king of reality. He's like the reality king, if you, you will. Could. If you, you will. Yeah. Yeah. Blacked. <laughs> <laughs> Black. <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna uh, get blacked, Batman. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that, that famous line. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna black you. Um, I gotta say this first and foremost, dude. Fuck Bob Kane, dude. Why? Uh, cause he, because he's a piece of fucking shit. The original artist of Batman. The the original the artist. original artist and creator of Batman, who has since had his title rescinded, because the original, granted. Bob Kane did create the Batman. Okay. A character with fucking wings and a red costume and a fucking domino mask. Yes. But you bring in my fucking boy, Bill Finger, the man behind Batman. Oh. The true fucking creator of Batman. He was like, oh, okay, fuck all that silly shit. Let's make him a billionaire detective whose parents were killed by guns and he doesn't fucking like guns. How's that? And then he's fucking haunts in the night, dude. And then he wrote Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> and then he writes the Joker as well. He is the true <laughs> originator of Batman. Gotcha. I didn't and know that. now the credit is now to Bob Kane and Bill Finger as the creators of Batman. Okay. Good to know. So Interesting. Damage has been done, though. Pretty much everyone. Everyone Fuck Bob Kane. Bob Kane. Yeah. It's all Bill Finger, dude. I know it. And I feel bad that he died penniless and homeless. Yeah, he got fucking Tesla'd. He really did. 
Dude, there's so many parallels between Batman 1989 and The Dark Knight. Did you notice that? Mm-mm. Yeah. Like there's like like the scene where he walks into all the mafia bosses. Oh, sure. Um the way the final fight like on a rooftop and the hanging yeah. like like uh but Vic, Vicky Vale in, yeah. in The Dark Knight. This is arguably a bad Batman film. Yeah, I Oh, like to Batman canon to like the character of Batman letting people die, yeah. people die yeah. killing throwing people throwing people off a fucking skyscraper roof. Yeah. yeah. Tell yeah. your friends about me. <laughs> Shooting people off of balloons, falling to their deaths. Yeah. He's not the Batman. He's like Tom Cruise in collateral. He's like, I didn't kill him. The bullets <laughs> yeah, in the fall yeah. killed him. Dude, Tom uh Tim Burton has admitted to never have reading never had reading a Batman comic book I before mean, he was attached to this at all. It worked out, obviously, but read it Pretty worked one. out because of the design, dude. Right, yeah. It's the way this movie looks and the way this movie sounds. Yeah. It's True. not Tim Burton. It's kind of like Tim Burton is uh, not, <clears throat> you know, very, uh, he's a hack. He's been fucking uh, carried by Danny Elfman he's his been, entire his career. His entire career, all of Nightmare Before Christmas, he didn't do any of those designs or the, like, the... He didn't even fucking direct it, dude. No, exactly, that's but what But we saying. all call it Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm, yeah. I mean, you, you can't... His, like, he has a good... He has a good um he he's good at composition, I guess. Sure. But like the action in this movie, bad. Oh, the action yeah, is really bad in this movie. The, that fucking Axis chemical scene where they're like pew pew. Yeah. Yeah. This really terrible. fucking yeah, bad. Just sparks action. flying everywhere. Yeah. And it's just the campy hollow as shit. bullets like yeah. ping. Yeah. It's so campy. Bad. Yeah. Bad, and bad, like bad. all the cops are just like standing there with they're all standing still shooting like muskets. Like yeah, they're, yeah. they're in the civil fucking war. Like they don't even <laughs> not even taking cover. They're just like, all right, now you shoot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so bad. It's very cops and robbers type shit. Yeah. yeah. It's the most like yeah, see movie I've yeah, ever yeah. seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like the guy even has like a cigar outside of his mouth, like that who framed Roger Rabbit looking yeah. motherfucker that comes in or the detective. Oh, that's Eckhart. Detective yeah. Eckhart. Yeah. Yeah. He was just like and then Aaron Eckhart played Two Face. Whoa! Oh yeah, b- back to your parallels, right? Uh, that's uh, that's all I could think of. But there was that. I'm Batman. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of a. It was that's mostly not, like I mean, the Joker parallels, I guess. The se- there was like the same scenes in in some in some places, but I think the uh, the I'm Batman in Batman Begins. That definitely has like an homage to the Tim Burton Batman. Yeah, I can see that. Like, cause I mean, <clears throat> even in the Batman, when he says "I'm vengeance," he doesn't say "I'm Batman." You know, right, like that's right. just not a thing that happened before that, and that wasn't even the original line in this script. Yeah, it was just supposed to be "I'm the Knight," or he wasn't supposed to say anything at all. Mm-hmm. But instead, Michael Keaton fucking pulled fast when he's like, "I'm fucking Batman, bitch." Mm-hmm. I wish he threw in a bitch in there. I'm fucking Batman, bitch, pussy. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Listen, you homeless fuck. I'm Batman. <laughs> Tell your friends about me. He's I'm gonna like, kill. I'm going to. He's like, what? Huh? I don't care how hard your life has been. I'm a fucking billionaire. I yeah. fucking hate you, homeless. And I'm gonna punch your goddamn shit. teeth in, yeah. dude. I gotta go. I gotta feed a, a stray cat to an ATM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to return some videotapes. I got, I'm gonna lose my voice at the end of this episode doing Jack Nicholson yeah. impressions. Jake. Do you think Vicky Vale was gonna suck Joker off to completion during that one part? <laughs> during, during the ending scene? Yeah. She loves purple. Dude. It was yeah. implied she, she loves purple. She was gonna suck the white right off his dick. Dude. Damn. That's what I thought was going to happen. His powder white dick. His powder <laughs> oh, white dick. Shit. I thought that's what was going to happen. To uh, completion. Yeah. Dude, Alexander Knox shouldn't be in this movie. But when he came, it would just be it's like purple. a little... Like, <laughs> no, it would be like like a flag. I'm so like, pew! Yeah, yeah just bang. A bang, yeah. <laughs> Out of his dick. That was good. Because right. when you come... I'm just right. going for it. I don't know. Swinging. It's, yeah, it's your love gun, if you will. Swing away, dude. <laughs> swing swing away. away. You got to swing for every shot you miss. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like... Uh, Vicky Vale's under underutilized. I mean, I could take her a lever to be honest. I feel like the the er, what's his name Alexander Knox character doesn't need to be in this at all. No, it he should... he's a cuck the whole movie. <laughs> he's getting cucked by the richest man. Bad cuck for and, sure. Yeah. yeah, I fucking hate that guy. I mean, he's fine. But Wait, like, which guy? Uh, the guy that Vicky Vale, the reporter. You know who he oh, is? Yeah. He's literally he's just whatever. He's Albert Albert Brooks in Taxi Driver. Where he's like, but what about me? Yeah. I'm your co-worker. And he even sounds just like him. Yeah. Like. Yeah. That's very much the. Completely the, the forgettable. Vibe. Yeah. Yeah. It, like they could have just had Vicky mm-hmm. Bale being the investigator the whole time and then le- left out that character entirely. Right. Give her a boss instead. That's like, we need results. But we need 
com- comedic relief come. in this. We need come. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that character. Yeah, he's pointless. Very. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, my nostalgia carries a lot of love for this movie. I think <clears> if I watched it for the first time today, I wouldn't like it nearly as much as something that I grew up with. You no, know totally, I mean? totally. This this is just a nostalgia yeah. shotgun blast for me. Uh, did you guys know that Vicky Vale was supposed to be uh, played by Sean Young of Blade Runner fame? Oh. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. She was uh, mm. injured in a horse riding accident right before filming, essentially like two weeks before filming. Yeesh. She says that it changed the trajectory of her entire career after that. Kind of uh, like, that does suck, yeah. Because she essentially she's it's really sad dude in the behind the scenes she's like so yeah my career kind of ended after that jesus <laughs> she's like, i really wish i would have held on to that horse yikes yeah and then just cut to <laughs> cut to somebody else yeah because she's like after that like nobody really and then oh god dude you have to pull this up there's a really really cringy fucking she goes on like a talk show saying that she has been cast as catwoman in batman returns mm-hmm and she starts playing Catwoman on a talk show. But she's doing it like Eartha Kitt. She's like, my pride. Is it like, are dude, you serious? Dude. No. Yeah. So it's, she blew it? No. She didn't get offered the part. No, it was Michelle Pfeiffer. They didn't Pfeiffer. reach out to her. Yeah. It was Michelle Pfeiffer. And she's like, I'm campaigning for Catwoman. Oh, because no. I didn't. Yeesh. That's so sad. And future Chris. I have a message for the director of Batman 2. How dare you not make time to see the Catwoman? Not even so much as granting me a meeting. How very rude of you. After all, I was in the original Batman cast. How dare you not even return the Catwoman's phone calls? I don't make phone calls very often. And after all, business is business. And doing good business means that you return your phone calls. It's a pretty simple formula, Timmy. Dude, like she was in the Blade Runner, man. Like she was supposed yeah. to be a really big fucking star, and then yeah, she done goofed and on then that she horse. Christopher Reeves herself, oh, unfortunately. Man. Well, it's a DC movie. It's appropriate. She didn't fucking get paralyzed though. He got he got better. Paralyzed her career. No, he didn't. He could move in water. Can no, he could. <laughs> he could. I watched the Oprah episode. <laughs> He's like, look at this. <laughs> he did that. Yeah, it's, it's and bad. future Chris will cut it in here. <laughs> Yikes! Okay, mm. I feel like we can't talk about uh, this movie without talking about the um, the outrage for Michael Keaton being cast as Batman. Right? Was that outrageous? It's at the time, yeah, people fucking hated it. They were, well, they he, were so mad. It was his fresh hair off the is he- so mid. I will say, yeah, it is mid hair. Yeah, it's a yeah, that's a receded. His, his, as dude, fuck. If, I mean, you fix the hair, you fix ninety percent of the problems with Michael <laughs> Keaton in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> He's good. I mean, it's it's kind of a forgettable Batman performance, if I'm being honest. Yeah, but like it carries the it carries the nostalgia. Yeah, You're right. <clears throat> but but it's like, like other than that, like <clears throat> we've had Christian Bale during that. You know during, what I mean? But also, gr- yeah. But also, like like you were saying, the action is kind of mids. <clears throat> like yeah. Like and arguably, some of the performances are goofy. Like there's that scene when. Uh, he he's as Bruce Wayne facing off with the Joker, and he's like, "You want to get nuts? Yeah, let's get nuts." And Dude. it's like, "That's cringe. That's really weird." And then he gets shot, you know, shot, whatever. And then I was holding a silver platter that you didn't even see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> ah. I bet you didn't see this plot armor I have. Yeah. Right. Right. Like, it's, yeah. What if they shot him in the face? Right. <laughs> rubber. He's lips. like, oh fuck. He's just yeah, like yeah. rubber lips. <laughs> <laughs> rubber so like, lips. It's rubber, but whatever. Yeah. It, yeah. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um. Stupid. But uh, another scene I didn't I thought was kind of like cringe was when Jack Nicholson pulled his number one and he was like, "Hey, I want you to take a camera down the down the street and follow her or whatever." And then he was just like, <sighs> "Yeah, you're my number one. <sighs> yeah, guy. you're my number one guy." And it was just like this awkward, weird improv moment Wait, he was doing. You don't know why he did that? No, why? He was doing a Jack Palance impression. What do you mean, Jack Palance? Palance, sorry. What is that? So his boss from the beginning. <clears throat> The guy from City Slickers, the old man. Yeah. He was doing an impression of him. And oh, a callback like, to him whenever he's like, 
Jack, you're my number one guy. Oh, I so just in had that no idea. He's, so he's doing, like, I'm the big guy now. Yeah. Oh, I just and he's doing that. a Jack Palance impression. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I, I thought that was completely weird. Like, okay, that makes sense then. Never mind. That was the one moment where I was like, that's a weird Joker moment. Like, he's just riffing and they kept it in. I mean, he could have fucking ditched the his number one guy, like that guy. It's like he's he looks like a homeless guy that they were like, you want to be in a movie? Yeah. Like Bob. Bob. Who inspired oh. the character Silent Bob? Are you serious? Dead serious. Okay. That's where he got his name for Clerks. Weird. I would because he fucking loved this movie, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna name my character Bob after that guy." After that guy, <laughs> not after Bob Kane, who at the time everyone believed <laughs> was the creator, of but that guy Bob. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that mids ass forgettable character from Batman 1989. Yeah, he yeah. was like, "I'll do it, boss." He has like one line. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Weird. Bob Gunn, doof. <laughs> That's but the, see, like that Joker shit is the shit that I love. Yeah, yeah. Like Bob Gunn, doof. <laughs> when, yeah. when he's certifiably insane and unpredictable, that's yeah. when he's the best. Like my favorite shit is his dark humor. Like l- sure, l- like there's not enough Dude, of his, that. His first line as Joker, it's me. Sugar bumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I f- fucking chills every time. That is the most Joker fucking thing in the world because his boss is like, Is that you, Sugar Bubs? And he, like, Yeah. I fucking love that. That is the most Joker line in the entire fucking film. That's a great reveal from the shadows, too. Yeah. yeah and it's great. Yeah. It's me, Sugar Bumps. <laughs> yeah. Also, did you know? Oh, shit. Oh. Whenever he enters the scene, you fucking see him. The Joker face is revealed. Did you notice there's a fucking purple streak on his neck? I did notice no. that. The costume designers had to switch out his costume at the last minute. They had spray painted his jacket right before this scene, and the spray paint was essentially on his neck from that. And they fixed it afterwards, but Tim Burton liked the first take so much, he kept it in. That's crazy. The flub. You sure this is fine? It's ready to go. They're like, yeah, put on this jacket we're just spray painted. Yeah. yeah, we just spray painted. He's got he's gonna his brain is gonna, just gonna like fucking poison from that, yeah. from all the <laughs> chemicals off that suit. But yeah, that's he's gonna turn into Honestly, the he wasn't joker. even wearing makeup. Yeah. That was just the fumes from right. the, the he's just like, spray paint. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> just the, the, the smile X or whatever. Yeah. He, yeah. It's, it's a chemical. Yeah. She's been using brand X. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that little Joker infomercial. It's really funny. See, yeah, Joker, that's Joker shit like that. Yeah. Like that yeah. is, I love that shit. I think Tim Burton really did nail the Joker parts of it. I don't yeah. think he nailed Batman. No. Well, it, I guess you could say that's that's true. But I, you could give more credit to the the writer. I think in that sense, right? Yeah. Same him. Yeah, that too. Because but I think like, well. Again, you have to give credit to Jack Nicholson as well because he embodied the fucking character. He did. <clears throat> But then, but the, the, dude, the, the print re- scene, like, do you direct that really? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that was really fun. When he's like destroying the museum, like, yeah, how do you direct that? That's just Jack being Jack. Yeah, yeah it was great. But I'm um, also, uh, I get Tim Burton despised the Prince Incorporation. Uh, in, in really, this, yeah, mm. he, he's gone on record saying he he did not <clears throat> like it. But he's like, gold experience is great, but I don't care for the other stuff. It did seem a little out of place, but I, it's a vibe in the movie. I fucking yeah. love it in the movie. Yeah. Thought he did a great job. It's like I, part of its DNA. You yeah. know? I don't know, man. Like, I, I think the, the, the older and older I get, I appreciate Tim Burton's contributions a lot less. Because at first I was like, oh, this is all Tim Burton. Yeah. Well, every time when I was a kid, when I'd see a Tim Burton joint or whatever, I'd be like, this guy's a genius. I've, we've said this a minute. Like, I've said this a thousand times, but like directors get too much credit. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, they just do. It's like it's it's a thing that you they brand a film, and I get that puts asses in seats. But like when you watch credits scroll for fifteen minutes, and there's two or three hundred people that an artist, all of them artists Art, in their yeah. own sense, they all work their whole lives. They're like, I'm going to be in movies, and then they're just a name. Yeah, but then you know you turn on Batman 1989, you see the suit, you see the lighting, you see the production design, you see the vibe, you see the aesthetic, and you're just like Tim, Tim Burton. Burton. Yeah, and that's unfair. The fact that there are very few people in this world that know who Anton First is is a goddamn shame. And that's why I keep bringing up his fucking name. Because, like I said, without the imagery of this, the way this movie looks, it does not have the following that it, it does. It sets the tone for the next three movies. Yeah, like, it, it, dude, it's, it sets a pop culture. Yeah. You know, it sets it back to fucking zero because it's like, oh, this is what comic book movies need to be going forward. This is where you get X-Men. This is where you get Blade. You get all of that shit. And... Uh, honestly, dude, Joel Schumacher left a bigger imprint on his films 
than Tim Burton did on these, if that makes any sense at all. It makes yes. he has more of his own DNA in the yeah, I get exactly. what you're saying. Because he's saying. a more like what's the word? It's just a more thorough way of directing. Like he yeah. made it his, whereas t- Tim Tim put Burton, nipples on the bat suit. Exactly. Like Tim Burton lucked out with the best fucking production design. Like everything and, yeah. lined up perfectly. Production, music, all of it just lined up perfectly. It, he did choose Michael Keaton. He fucking did. That's but could that's you great. argue? I mean, is Michael Keaton? Is there nostalgia blinders on you for that? I think he's, so. He's among my least favorite Batman. I don't know. I mean, he lowered he lowered his his Not voice. He lowered his voice. That was yeah. one of the first things to embody Batman because he, sure. he thought someone's gonna look at me and see Bruce Wayne. He didn't think like the mask was enough, so he was like, "I'm gonna change my voice." Yeah, and so he was one of the first to like lower his octave a little bit to which you know. And Tim Burton takes credit for that because he's like Batman needs to be internal. He like he Michael Keaton, Keaton by himself cannot be scary. Yeah. So he has to wear the bat suit. So he sure. kind of gave it a purpose in that way. Yeah. Um. And why he, there was a lot of backlash to uh, casting Michael Keaton because it's like, oh, Mister Mom, what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? You know, what I mean, Beetlejuice is Batman. Yeah. Like, yeah. What the fuck are we doing here? You know, before that, he just got scooped out of the comedy score, which is crazy. He's, That's crazy. He's a stand-up comedian. I know. That's I know. where he started. I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. Johnny Dangerously himself. Yeah. Wait, he had a stage name. There was a movie called Johnny Dangerously. I think he, I don't know if he plays a stand up, but he plays like a showman. Mm. Oh, like that's like one of the first things he yeah, got yeah. scooped in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's weird, but yeah. definitely more of a co- comedic actor before it all. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, like it's no different than casting Bill Murray and then being like, oh, but Bill Murray's serious the whole time. You know what I mean? He... They, they almost casted Bill Murray as Batman. Yeah. I thought when he said it earlier, he was going to be the Joker. No, Bill Murray was Batman. And then Eddie Murphy, and Eddie Murphy was, was Robin. Robin. Wow weird right they were going they had a they had a fucking a path they were going down didn't work out thank god yeah, yeah. mel gibson was also considered for batman who i think would have been a fucking great batman too yeah he would have been you, we need to show him 22 jump street but we right we right right, right, right. he needs to he, see that movie he'd be like hey mel could you stop saying jews after every line where you beat the shit out of a guy <laughs> yeah i mean god is it can this next goon have a bigger nose yeah <laughs> Jesus, can I can I punch money out of them like a like a yakuza character? <laughs> like I swear I didn't know where the drugs are. <laughs> he sounds like Groucho Marx. <laughs> um, Billy D. Williams is Harvey Dent. Yeah, fucking awesome. That's a choice, man. Yeah, and he never got to he never play got to Two Face. Yeah. yeah, and and what is it, Batman Returns or Batman Forever? When two Batman, forever is Tommy Lee Jones. Forever right. is the first appearance of Harvey Dent, but that's supposed to be the same canon as the Tim Burton right. Batman movie. But they recasted like everyone. Except for Alfred. And yeah, Mr. Alfred Gordon. is like, he's like because, the Alfred. Because in Batman yeah. Forever, that's technically the third in the trilogy, right? Right. You're right. And George Clooney's Batman. Right. No. That's Batman and Robin. Val Kilmer is Batman in my Batman bad. Forever. Okay, my bad. But he's recasted. And then he is recasted again. Yeah. Fucking weird. It's almost like That's recasting a in a Batman movie can ruin a character, much like Katie Holmes and Maggie <laughs> Gyllenhaal, you could argue. Hmm. That's, that's I don't think Katie Holmes was good enough to be like, oh, how dare they? Like, just It is just a continuity. Like, she was just fine. The biggest continuity ever. It's the only blemish on that trilogy to me. It's I, I get it. It bugs me too a little don't bit. Don't mind it at all. I, I agree. Katie Holmes is whatever, dude. I agree with you there. She was completely She's forgettable fine. in Batman Begins. Yeah. When I saw that, like I I rewatched them a few months ago, and I was like, I was like, wow, I did not realize how mid she is. Yeah. 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 And yeah, Maggie Gyllenhaal is great, but um, it just yeah bugs me too. It's like they recasted them, and yeah. it's just it's just this weird continuity error that I know you can't get around. But did was it anything other than just like it didn't work out, like? Did no one just like did not like her performance or what was she the did deal? that Katie Queen Holmes? Latifah movie right? She did a uh, money what is it called more money mo money money talks yeah something like that something like that where she steals money but it's like a comedy with Queen Latifah he's right oh nice I can't be in the Dark Knight <laughs> yeah. prolific comic book film ever made I gotta go make this money movie with Queen Latifah Liter- quite literally she had to go make money elsewhere I guess. <sighs> So that's the reason? That's the reason. She Have you doing- seen Taxi, though, with Jimmy <laughs> Fallon and Queen Latifah? Cause she had to do that movie, and that's what uh, that's what kept her out of doing Dark Knight. But I also think Christopher Nolan probably was like, I can find somebody. Yeah. But he was He's like, like, oh, oh he darn, please yeah. don't yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was oh, not Oh, no, please don't go. 
Maggie I'll Gyllenhaal. Have to get Malion Cotillard for another movie. Right, right, right. <laughs> um. Anyways, what else we got on Batman 1989? Uh, well, uh, finishing my Billy D story. Um, oh, sorry. He doesn't get to reprise his role of Harvey Dent as Two Face. He only just plays a straight Harvey Dent. Uh, so the creators of Batman's <laughs> what? It's just a, so much more of an egregious recasting. Just yeah. going from a black guy to Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> I know, I know, sucks. But that's, wi- that's wild. Hollywood's racist. Uh, so instead, uh, whenever they were making Batman sixty six, the animated movie with Adam West reprising his role as Batman nice. in like an animated film based on like the the obviously the fucking TV show. I've never seen that. They <clears throat> bring in Two Face, who was never in the TV show. And guess who fucking plays Two Face? Billy D. Zane. Billy D. Williams, man. <laughs> nice. They they let him do it. That's yeah. pretty cool. I think that's, that's cool. fucking awesome. Yeah, that's cool. I actually written watched, by Kevin Smith. Nice. I watched a bunch of sixty six Batman on YouTube. Yeah. Before this episode, I just it's so fucking good. Yeah. Like if you go into it knowing like it's a com it is it's, a comedy. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's so fucking funny. What is nice. your favorite uh, character? Eartha Kid is Catwoman. Hundred percent. I like Eggman. Played by Vincent it's Price. Ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, all the fight scenes you can tell are filmed on like the same set. Yeah. And then they just like put a bed in a different spot or something like that. Yeah. It's, it's so fucking funny. Super cringe, but hilarious. Yeah. And funny. And it's funny how many kids thought that was like a super like serious badass. Cr- yeah. Like, oh shit. He dude. punches him in the screen. The whole screen goes bam. Like, <laughs> if I ever fucking punch somebody over so hard, there's a fucking. On there's a PM. title card. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Anyways, I thought that was cool. This is the first time the Joker actually had a name, right? Jack Napier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, he's given a name in the Killing Joke, which I don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure it comes out. Actually, it may come out after this. I really don't know. I think that came out like '95 or '94. Okay. So that that he's actually given his first origin story in the comic books after Batman '89. So this is the first time he's actually given a name. Yeah, that's wild. Which is fucking crazy. Batman's been around for a hundred years, and Joker only had a name in the 90s? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's weird. That's crazy, dude. I think it's he, kind of his like, mystique is the best part about him. Yeah, you know it's what kind I mean? of like, I don't like it. Yeah. The best part about... Give him an origin story. The best part about the Dark Knight's Joker is that he exists because of Batman. It's like that fucking Murphy's Law. It's like yeah. anything yeah. that can happen will happen. Because there is a Batman, there has to be a Joker. Well, they said that in this movie, too. That's true. That's another parallel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's like he's like... It, it, he, he credits him for killing his parents. I mean, he arguably that, did. That is fucking egregious as yeah, shit. Yeah, it should be the Joe Chill. Joe Chill. Yeah. Yeah, so what was that about? It's just a big fucking rewrite. That, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I, because I, I thought maybe, like, does he mean, like, figuratively? I completely forgot about that aspect of the movie no, completely. Like, uh, like Sam Hamm has gone on record to be like, I didn't fucking change that. That was all Tim Burton. Tim Burton Dumb decided. fuck. As, <laughs> and Tim Burton's like, yeah, so I wasn't invited to many conventions after that. Cause, yeah, because you're a mid twat. <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't do the bare minimum. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I don't know. You, just, you didn't read issue one because he wanted to create more connections between batman and joker okay and i the most obvious fucking thing in the world is to be like the joker kills his parents I he's like i was a kid when i did that yeah you know they didn't even finish the script or there were so many rewrites going on but by the time they were climbing that tower no idea what they were gonna do no idea what they were Jesus. gonna do yeah he, jack literally was like what what are we doing and Tim, Tim he's Martin like why like, am i climbing up here and yeah tim burton's like we'll figure it out I he's don't like well, i have vicky vale suck your dick let's start there <laughs> yeah and then we'll just see where it goes we'll just look you know what you you guys are good at improv yeah let's see what happens they put porno in theaters like 210 years ago yeah he's like did i say cut vicky <laughs> so what <laughs> it's a deleted scene it's, yeah. it's actually in the director's cut do we think of uh I don't know what, what do we think of the Joker as like a his motives throughout like does it make sense what he's doing I don't necessarily want Joker to have a motive yeah you know I mean that's the, the that why whole, he shines so much in the Dark Knight is because yeah. he's just he's chaos, chaos. He, d- he came out of nowhere you don't know where he is his his origin story changes every time which I loved the first time I saw the Dark Knight and he's like you want to know how I got these scars and he tells a story I was like no yeah and then later he changed it and i was like oh. yeah <laughs> yeah it yeah. just made it the, the mystique is what makes him so interesting so this motivation what he 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 the chemicals make him short wire and that's it yeah and he wants to be he wants to be an artist with uh with mayhem he wants to be the the world's fir- first fully functioning homicidal artist is what he calls it 
Not a realistic goal, I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I he's think, like, watch him check out my girl I disfigured, dude. Yeah. Check this out. He's like, check oh, out yeah. this lampshade. <laughs> Just cool guy shit. Just cool right, guy right. stuff. Just yeah. boys only. I will say the the most intense goosebumps I've ever gotten from a movie to this day is still the in theaters watching Batman Begins for the first time and the Joker card like dude. falls down. I was like, oh my fucking God, yeah. dude. <clears throat> when we get to do the Dark Knight, man. Next year, Ooh, baby. That, that's the most talked about movie of all time. It's I feel, gotta, I feel it's like it's almost be. like cringe to even do an episode on it, but I feel like it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Maybe that's a GMP. Thing. Maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. Um, that's kind of all I had on this. Why the fuck did Alfred let uh, Vicky Vale into the Batcave? Because he's an asshole. I mean, that he was, was an tell asshole him, move. He was gonna tell her like event, like they, they were on like their second date, and he was like, "You know how you have like a double life." <laughs> yeah, and she was like, "Huh?" And he's like, "I'm fucking, I'm a, I, I." Anyways, people. I'm gonna go <laughs> sleep upside down. <laughs> yeah, I fucking kill people in the night in a black suit. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go sleep upside down. Right, I'm like balanced, a, like a cool guy, yeah. like a bat. Oh, did you guys make that? Did you know? Yeah. Wait a second, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. If you want more fun film facts, just listen to this podcast. And then he went, yeah, yeah. like he fucking screeched yeah. really and loud. And then he he held on to all of his shit and he goes, it's actually guano. <laughs> it's high in nitrogen. <laughs> I can make bowls out of this. Yeah. yeah. You want a bowl of my shit? <laughs> That's why he actually couldn't hear anything. He wanted to be a method actor, like, yeah. like a bat. Right. So he was like, make me deaf. Wait. And he can only hear sonar. <laughs> they're blind, right? Yeah. Or they're deaf. Yeah, they're, they're deaf. You know what? It no, doesn't matter. No, not. No, no, no. What are they? They're they're people think they're blind. They're not really blind, but they use echolocation to get around. That's what it is, right? So I'm wrong completely. Yeah, they can see, but you know, they you, use you know you swing, you know <laughs> you swing away. Right. Yeah. Have you ever seen a fruit bat cock? I mean, Jesus. Yeah, it's like half their body. More than that. Jesus. Damn. Have you ever seen a fucking a fox fox bat? Oh yeah, they're huge. The yeah. fil- in the Philippines. Yeah, it's supposed Dude. to have wingspans of like four feet. Bigger than that. That's like terrifying. Six feet. Six feet. Yeah. Wingspan. You see one of those motherfuckers coming to you? A fox bat? I'd be like, I must become a bat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inside good. baseball joke, dude. It's fucking Batman number one. Is that shit. a Batman joke? Yeah. Like he saw a bat and was like, I need to become a bat. It's literally, yeah. It's literally from, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Batman, you're one. You, saw, you see a fox bat. I'm fox Batman. I'm fox Batman. <laughs> he's an you're, all, he's an you're all fucking right what? Batman. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, do you know why I'm here? <laughs> I'm Fox Batman. You're stealing our goddamn jobs, yeah. and I'm here to take them out. I'm sick of all Aren't your- you a billionaire? <laughs> yeah. Don't I'm, tax us. <laughs> it's fucking Tucker Carlson. Yeah. He, he's, hey, here's he's, why you should Fox. be scared <laughs> yeah. of cat yeah. girls. Yeah. Here's why. They're, they're going around drinking oat milk lattes and taking away genders. He's like, where were the drugs going? <laughs> where <laughs> were the drugs going? More at 11. Wait, play that little bump dump bump Yeah. <laughs> like, Which one? The, like the- the one that sounds like a news bulletin. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I don't know which one that one physical is. Physical media minute. Oh, got it, got it, got it. So just say physical media minute, dude. All right, I mean, the fuck? <laughs> all right, fucking fat. Fucking, the the moment's almost lost. Right? I'm Tucker Carlson. It's Fox Batman time. Where were the fucking drugs going? Where were the drugs going? Fuck face. Nice. Nice. What if he just he just hunts liberals in the night? He just like. I'm out in the middle of the night looking for they thems. I'm gonna kill you because you're ruining America. More at eleven. I'm really proud of myself. I guess you could call me a proud boy. <laughs> I'm a shill of the the red state, the alt right. I don't believe anything I've I actually say. In fact, you can look up text messages where I'm talking bad about Trump in January six. More at eleven. I'm Fox Batman. Yeah, that's the that's the signature he says, line. He said, "Yeah, it's like I'm Fox Batman. Right? I'm the red. I'm the night. Yeah, mm. I'm the red. Star. I'm the moment before the sun goes down, where it's really pretty. No, and I am the right. Ah. I am the right. Ah. Ah. I am vengeance. I am the I'm right. The right. Ban- <laughs> Ban- Ban- I am Fox Batman. <laughs> and then Robin is Kid Rock. Ah. He's, he's the kid. Ah. Yeah. He's kid like, Robin. Gonna, yeah. Ah. He's like, I'm gonna be as clear and concise as possible." No more weird hair dye. I'm killing all the liberals tonight. 
Well said. Thanks. Is a red cape. Yeah. Yeah. Or the American flag. Yeah. So he's Homelander. Fox Batman. All right. Fox Batman. Fox B mean. I don't know. That's it for me. I see Homelander drinking fucking jugs of titty oh. milk, and I'm like, he's literally me. Wait a second. I think the price of admission for me nowadays, even rewatching this movie, are the Batmobile scenes. I mean, it's over here. Oh yeah, that that. But yeah. Oh yeah, that Batmobile Check scene. Check that is, shit out. <clears throat> just that seems amazing. Like a big black phallic <laughs> thing that just right. it gets. First of all, it's he a puts BBC. The, it's a big black car. Right. He puts it the is. armor on. It gets rock big bat hard. Car. Big bat car. Yeah, dude. Whenever he they fucking he crashes into the fucking museum wherever they're at, rescues Vicky Vale, takes her outside. Get in the car. Which one? And then you see that Batmobile for the first time. Jesus Christ. Yeah, shit goes hard. Yeah. Coming, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's that that whole scene through with the leaves. Yeah, yeah. It's Danny Elfman. Yep. You know he performs that live with I his orchestra? I believe that he's hard as shit. It's like fucking Kate Blanchett. Just fucking... Man, man. Yeah. <laughs> fucking tar. Dude, the fact that he... I fucking watch that. I would watch that as the last thing that I do. Yeah. If I have three minutes to go, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. shit, your heart's about to stop in like three minutes. They're like, sir, you only have a moment left. And you're like, give me the iPad. Like, give me, <laughs> give me <laughs> YouTube. Batmobile 1989. <laughs> Hold on, it's buffering. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you seen Guthrie Govan perform with Hans Zimmer? No. Oh my God. But I know he's on the Dune soundtrack. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Oh my god! But anyways, the Batmobile scenes are uh, worth the price of admission, and the Batwing sing, which is arguably kind of uh, anticlimactic. Yes. Yeah, it just crashes a little bit. He fucking takes some balloons up to the sky, yeah. but he does the bat signal in the moon, dude. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Come on, I love his thumb up. That's like the, the <laughs> that's, fucking that's Batman forever. It, shit. Oh well, is that Val Kilmer? It's a duology. It is. And he's giving a thumbs up to Robin, who's on in the, the scene other when was, Batman is in Bloodhaven. What the fuck? No, I'm saying Batman is four thousand feet in the air. Oh, he's yeah. like he'll see me. Yeah, and he goes, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, what's that shot? Yeah. Why is that in the movie? It's hilarious. I don't get it's, it. my, I, it's not even relevant, but whatever. But anyways, uh, yeah, that that uh, Batwing scene, pretty anticlimactic. He just gets yeah crashed. It's but I like do this. love the dude. Another parallel to the Dark Knight. Whenever he's like, "Fucking hit me, hit me!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. God damn it. It doesn't. In like the steps too. That's kind of a similar set. Is like Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Like the uh, with Bane and the, that fight. But he's like literally shooting at the Joker. Yeah. Which Christian yeah, Bale would. Batman would not do. Nope. But he's shooting at him, aimed at him, target. Mm-hmm. Oh, pretty poor aiming <clears throat> system, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No aim assist on that Batwing. No. He's a... Uh, you could argue he inspired Osama bin Laden during that scene. What? I mean, you could argue it. He's in the middle of the city. <laughs> right. like, oh, no, alone. he's flying towards the towers. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. The second Batman has fallen. <laughs> Fox Batman. Like, Swing away. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have to stop the regular Batman. All right. Anyways. Is that it for you, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> what are your favorite... <laughs> Batman ranked. Jesus Christ! Why you gotta open this can of worms? So like we're like that we're landing the plane of the show. I Christ- gotta know. Number one, Christian Bale. Agreed. Number two, Robert Pattinson. Agreed. Nice. And number three, Affleck. Because Whoa. he looks the most like any Batman ever. He does. I agree I just with don't, your list so far. He never got his yeah Batman film, so I can't yeah in good conscience give him number two or number one although his warehouse scene in Batman v Superman Superman, shit goes so that is the most Batman shit ever of all fucking time and you cannot fucking you you can't challenge that it's the rare moment in a Batman film where you're like oh they did it they oh yeah yeah. oh that's Batman as shit yeah when when it looks like a John Wick scene that is what Batman should be yes yeah okay he's just splitting people (laughs) in half yeah. Right, it, it looks breaking. like dude, people. He rips a guy's dick off. Yeah, dude, it looks like a Greg Capullo panel. Like the whole, f- it's so, so good. All right, let me let me pause for a second. Sure, let me pause for one second. I got to get this out of here. We'll never do Batman v Superman, but I got to get this out of here because Batman gets stabbed in the arm, and his retaliation is to rip that guy's dick off. 
He's not killing him. That is the most Batman shit ever of all fucking time. He gets stabbed and he's like, oh, you motherfucker. Rip. Come on, he dude. He castrates a man. Yeah. And the look in his eyes, dude. We got to look at that real he quick. He bat straights him. Yeah. yeah. As a swing. Yeah, was nice. yeah. You swing away. Castrate yeah. bat. Cast, bat straight. Batman, yeah. yeah. He ripped his dick off. Yeah. He, yeah. he rips his fucking he dick off. He decocked him, if you will. And they yeah. cut it out of the fucking <clears throat> movie, dude. You only get that in the Ultimate Edition. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Yeah. The, the cock rip? The cock rip. Damn the signature. The ultimate. Rip. That's the only yeah. difference between be, <laughs> between the regular one. The, that's ultimate, the ultimate edition. Yeah, the ultimate yeah. edition is just a cock rip, dude. Check it out. It's fucking. It's, great. Fucking, it's fucking two shots. Yeah. Batman v <laughs> Superman Ultimate Edition is the only version to watch, man. Because it's right. got the cock rip. All right, Christian Bale, uh, Robert Patties, uh, Ben Affleck. Affleck, Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, Adam West. It's We're talking films here. Oh, there I, was a Batman film. Okay, then Adam West would be at the bottom for me. Yeah. Uh, but the one true Batman is Kevin Conroy. Shouts to him. Agreed. That's it for me. Batman animated series voice, right? Yeah. Yep. And Arkham games. Rest yeah. in peace, you beautiful man. Uh, ready to do... This is Cinema with Marty Scorsese. We have to determine whether or not Batman 1989 is cinema or not cinema. Need I remind you it is my birthday and you must <laughs> do cinema and four three. Alex? Yes, it's cinema. Ah! Chris, cinema for sure. Ah! <clears throat> Josh, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. Cinema. Ah! Is it four three, Josh? Ah! Absolutely. Because it has to be. It's right. grandfathered in. I can't do anything about that. You guys maybe could, if you're heartless pieces of shit. Alex? Yes, it's four three. Ah! Chris? Of course it's four three. Ah! Oh. My childhood is safe. It's kind of not a great movie, but it's just a great movie. You yeah, know what I mean? It's yeah, a, it's a. It is what it is. Pop culturally, it is. It is. It's what it's. It's what it's. What it's. it's. Yeah, that's and that's that. It does look. It's one of the most comic book looking movies yeah. of all time, which I like. Fucking nails it. Dark yeah. direction, man. Tell him. Yeah. Me. All right. Uh, DMT for. Batman, 1989. Chris, you definitely did a DMT, right? You have that face where it's like, oh, I have a really good I one. I did it. Yeah, yeah, I've got that face where I'm going to come up with one. All right. No, I don't have to come up with one because I've had one. You already one, have a DMT. Right. Yeah. Because that's the show. We've done <clears throat> almost 200 episodes of it. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, but uh, I'll save mine for last so you cool, guys can cool. go first. Um, I just have unhinged psychopath exercises his billionaire rights. Nice. It's a little, little long, but okay. A little long. Uh, it's kind of my signature. Bat flew over the Joker's nest. That's good. And a guy who dresses up like a bat, man. That's, they're both The first good. one's good. Chris? Nah, I don't have one. Oh, cool. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Forgot to do it. Hmm. So you guys showed up early. You guys showed up early, kind of. So. And I was oh. going to use that time specifically for DMT. For DMT, yeah. that 10 minute. <laughs> I blocked it It's my 10 minute DMT time. You guys said 7.30. You showed up at 7. Didn't have time. <clears throat> just finished the movie. Fair enough. I don't know. Your fault, basically. Yeah. Okay. That's our bad. Yeah. That's <laughs> uh, on you guys. Games. Do we want to do actor game or? Uh, yeah. Let's do actor. Jack. Yeah. Since I'm the birthday boy. Yeah. Batman. One floor with the cuckoo's nest. As good as it gets. Nice. Cr- Dude, is it as good as it gets? It really is as good as it gets. That's what he says when he's getting blown. His soft yeah. dick is getting blown on a boat while he's eating an Italian BMT. With BLT. chili on it. <laughs> BMT. <A> BMT. <laughs> <laughs> the Witches of Eastwick. Uh, the Shining. Little Shop of Horrors. Anger Management. few good men the one where that old lady gets naked the shining already said that no different movie with her where an old lady gets naked mm. i'm blanking i'm out chinatown fuck my dick bucket list easy rider nice almost I as good as chinatown you could say <laughs> um, Hold on, I just gotta do this for Easy Rider. Fuck yeah, that just matter. Um, uh, 
the departed. Fuck my uh, the goat pledge. whore. The what? The pledge. I've never heard of that one. Yeah, me neither. This plays like a general. And it's not a few good men. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. I fucking know the one that you just... I know it. Just thought of a very easy one. Shit, man. Yeah, I guess I'm out. Mars attacks, baby. Ah, shit. A general again. Yeah. yeah. The one I was trying to think of is something's got to give. Oh, that's a good one. Too. I was trying to think of that one too, but yeah. I thought it was as good as it gets. It's same. I always like, get it mixed up. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. But, but here's the thing. It's not as good as it gets. It's not as good as it gets. It's not as good. As but you know what? Is <laughs> as good as it gets. Something's gotta give. <laughs> is that your Jack Nicholson? <laughs> I'm Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Wait, what's your Christian Slater? I'm Christian Slater. Now that sounds Jack- more. <laughs> now do your Jack Nicholson. I'm Jack Nicholson. You're getting warmer now. It's fucking yeah. close. You know? I was in Heather's. That's Christian Slater. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love when he says that in Heather's. You know what we have between us? A true romance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There goes Mr. Robot. Aren't we forgetting something? Yeah. What? What? Oh. Oh, I'll cut it in. That's afterwards. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, all right. We're going to all cut in voicemails <clears throat> at the end of the pod. So My bad. Stay tuned for the post credit scene. We have post credit scenes. And it's now. canon, so yeah. you can't not watch now, it. Now, unlike Alex, you need to stick around for the post credit scene. Unlike Alex, who walks out of the movie as soon as the credits start. Put it in the movie. If it's like, before the credits, it's in the movie. If it's he not walks out of the, the third act, I feel like. Yeah. No, that's only for Criterion Classics. Yeah. yeah. Like Blue is the Warmest Color. Right. Too many movies.com slash shop if you want this shirt, if you want this film school hat. Uh, Patreon.com slash there are too many movies, five bucks a month. Later, Ted. Buy a fucking mug unless you're a dime guy. B. Hey, uh, Josh, it's, uh, it's Caleb, man. Hey, man, uh, I am coming down on some really, really hard financial times right now, man. And, uh, I was just wondering if, uh, if you got those invoices I sent you. I've been a couple months. And I've been, you know, waiting, holding out. But uh, if you could just pay those invoices, man, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. I, uh, I gotta pay my bills, dude. But uh, just, just let me know. I, I, I could really use that money right now, man. And also, happy birthday. Hello, Americans. It brings me no pleasure to leave this message at the phone line of the clowns at the There Are Too Many Movies podcast. Anyway, I don't usually listen to podcasts because I'm too busy bumping Ghost Mane and Death Grips. That new Gex album also goes crazy in the armored limo. Anyway, I decided to listen to your episode on Avatar 2 when water gets involved. The last time I was this appalled by the opinion of a fellow American was when Kanye West said Jonah Hill made him love Jews again. Jonah Hill? That amorphous dweeb is a B-tier Jew at best. Anyway, back to Avatar. When I woke up from my 75-minute nap in the middle of this movie, I saw a big whale fellow who could somehow talk to that young, handsome blue boy. I'd love to talk to a whale. Do you think Brendan Fraser would come to the White House in the fat suit? That concludes my thoughts on your foul and slanderous podcast episode about Avatar 2, when water becomes an issue. I wish you all the best. Uh, Oh, shit. What's up, guys? Um, This is Roach here. Uh, I just want to say, long-time listener, fucking love you guys. You guys are fucking great. Happy birthday to the big man, Josh. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to say big man like that, but, you know, that man big. Hey, I just wanted to say that Too Many Movies is my third favorite internet-based movie podcast with the best opinions and the most questionable sense of humor. And from one Josh to another, happy birthday to Josh, the Josh Rodriguez. And I was going to send you this super sweet mint condition criterion steel, but one's like Bill Marina Lego set of Alex's brain as a gift, but for some reason it only has one piece. Anyway, stay really great, guys.